हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिकल रेशियोज एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी टू बी फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग फिगर फाइन वाई साइन एक्स सीकेंड एक्स माइनस टेन एक्स एंड सीकेंड सीकेंड एक्स प्लस टेन एक्स ओके नाउ हियर यू हैव अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल ए बी सी विच इज राइट एंगल एट बी you have to find the value of y sin x and the third expression which is uh, secant square x minus tan square x okay before you start we will find the unknown side here if you see y is one of the unknown side so in triangle abc by pythagoras theorem you get ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square AC square is two square is equal to one square plus y square. So four minus one is equal to y square, or you get y is equal to root over of three. So first thing you do for trigonometrical ratios is to find the unknown side. So y is equal to root three. Now we will find the first expression y we have got. Now the second one that is your sin x sin x you know the ratio which is perpendicular by hypotenuse with respect to this angle x the perpendicular is bc and the hypotenuse is ac so bc by ac which is equal to we know here bc that is y is equal to root 3 so you get root 3 upon 2 now moving to the third expression which is secant x minus tan x of secant x plus tan x this is of the form a minus b a plus b which will give you secant square x minus tan square x you know the ratio for secant x which is hypotenuse by base the whole square minus here tan is perpendicular by base the whole square so the hypotenuse is 2 upon the base is for this angle x the base is 1 so 2 by 1 the whole square minus root 3 upon 1 the whole square which will give you 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 moving on to the next sum that is use the figure to find sin x cos y 3 tan x minus 2 sin y plus 4 cos y here you have got a triangle abc Where AC is seventeen, AB is eight, and DB is six. You have to first find the unknown part, which is CD. So we will use the Pythagoras theorem here. So by Pythagoras theorem, in right angle triangle ABC. Now see, this is a right angle triangle. So we will use AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, seventeen square is equal to eight square plus b c square. This is two eighty nine is equal to sixty four plus b c square. Two eighty nine minus sixty four is equal to b c square, or b c is equal to root over of two twenty five, which is equal to fifteen. Now you have got. BC is equal to fifteen, and given here is BD is equal to six. So CD will be equal to BC minus BD, which is equal to fifteen minus six, which is equal to nine. So you got CD as nine. Now we have to find sine x. So you got CD is. Nine. Now 
Finding the first ratio which is sin x, we know the ratio for sin x is perpendicular by hypotenuse with respect to angle x. So this will be AB upon BC. So what is AB? That is 8 and sorry this is hypotenuse AB upon AC. Okay. 8 upon 17. This is your sin x. Now coming to next ratio that is cos y that is cosine of angle y. With respect to angle y we have to find the ratio cos base upon hypotenuse. Now when you find cos y it is base by hypotenuse but we don't know the hypotenuse for this triangle. So we will find in triangle ABD this is a right angle triangle. So you get AD square is equal to AB square plus BD square. AD square is equal to 8 square plus 6 square which is equal to 100 or you get AD is equal to 10. Now base by hypotenuse with respect to angle Y the base is BD and the hypotenuse is AD. So BD is 6 and we have found out AD which is equal to 10. So it is 6 by 10, 2 3s are, 2 5s are. So this is 3 by 5. Moving on to the third expression which is given as <clears throat> 3 tan x minus 2 sin y plus 4 cos y. So the ratios in terms of x, y and y. Now the ratio for tan is perpendicular by base with respect to angle x minus 2 sine of the ratio for sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse plus 4 of base by hypotenuse with respect to angle y. Now. With respect to angle X, the perpendicular is 8 and the base is BC. That is 9 plus 6, 15. Minus 2. With respect to angle Y, perpendicular is again 8 and the hypotenuse with respect to angle Y is 10. Plus 4 of base with respect to angle Y which is 6 upon with respect to angle y base is 6 and hypotenuse is 10. So you get 3 phys are 15, 2 phys are 10 and here you get 2 to the 4 and 2 5 So here 8 upon 5 minus 8 upon 5 plus 12 by 5. So the answer is 12 by 5. This gets cancelled. 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 gets cancelled. Now moving on to the next sum. <clears throat> In a triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC is equal to 15 centimeter. So AB is 15 centimeter and AC is 15 centimeter and the base BC is equal to 18 centimeter. You have to find cos of angle ABC. Now you should know the property of an isosceles triangle. What we will do here is we will drop a perpendicular AD on BC. So draw AD perpendicular to BC. Now the property of an isosceles triangle is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex of an isosceles triangle divides the 
बेस इंटू टू इक्वल पार्ट नाउ दिस प्रॉपर्टी होल्ड गुड फॉर बोथ इक्वलेटरल ट्राइंगल एंड आइसोसलेस ट्राइंगल सो इफ बी सी इज गिवन एज एटीन सेंटीमीटर सो बी डी विल बी इक्वल टू डी सी देर फोर इट विल बिकम एटीन बाई टू नाइन सेंटीमीटर सो हियर यू हैव बी डी इज नाइन सेंटीमीटर एंड डी सी इज नाइन सेंटीमीटर नाउ इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द ट्राइंगल ए बी डी इन ट्राइंगल ए बी डी यू हैव ए बी डी यू हैव टू फाइंड कॉस ऑफ एंगल ए बी सी नाउ द रेशियो फॉर कॉस इज बेस अपॉन हाइपोटन्यूस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एंगल बी द बेस इज बी डी एंड द हाइपोटन्यूस इज ए बी सो दिस विल बिकम नाइन बाई फिफ्टीन थ्री थ्री जार नाइन थ्री फाइव जार फिफ्टीन now moving on to the next if sin theta plus cos cosecant sorry if sin a plus cosecant a is equal to 2 find the value of sin square a plus cosecant square a so the given expression is sin a plus cosecant a is equal to 2 now whereas you have to find the value of sin square a plus cosecant square a squaring both sides you get sin a plus cosecant a the whole square is equal to 2 square now you can use the expansion of a plus b the whole square you get sin square a plus cosecant square a plus 2 sin a cosecant a is equal to 4 so sin square a plus cosecant square a plus 2 sin a you know the cosecant a is a reciprocal of sin a so this sin a and this sin a gets cancel you are left with sin square a plus cosecant square a is equal to 4 minus 2 which is equal to So the value of sine square a plus cosecant square a is equal to two. Now moving on to the next sum. Here it is four sine theta is equal to three cos cos theta. You have to find the value of sine theta, cos theta, cot square theta, minus cosecant square theta, four cos square theta, minus three sine square theta plus two. now uh, given expression is 4 sin theta is equal to 3 cos theta now what we can do here is you divide the whole expression by cos theta you get 4 sin theta by cos theta is equal to 3 cos theta by cos theta you are eliminating one of the ratios so this gets cancel sin theta by cos theta is tan theta so you get 4 tan theta is equal to 3 or you can write it as tan theta is equal to 3 by 4 so you get the expression tan theta is equal to 3 by 4 you know the ratio for tan is perpendicular by base so with respect to this angle theta perpendicular is 3 and base is 4 you can find the unknown side ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square this will become 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to 25 and ac is equal to 5 now you can find the remaining ratios the first ratio is sin theta so sin theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse in this figure perpendicular is ab and hypotenuse is ac so the ratio is 3 by 5 the next ratio is cos theta which is 
base by hypotenuse here it is bc by ac which is equal to 4 upon 5 the next part cot square theta minus cosecant square theta we know the ratio for cot square theta is base by perpendicular minus cosecant square is hypotenuse by perpendicular the whole square so from the figure you can find out what's the base base is 4 and perpendicular is 3 so 4 by 3 the whole square minus again hypotenuse is 5 and perpendicular is 3 so you get here 16 by 9 minus 25 by 9 which is equal to 16 minus 25 by 9 minus 9 by 9 which is equal to 1 and the last part for this sum was 4 cos square theta minus 3 sin square theta plus 2 again you substitute the ratio it is base by hypotenuse the whole square minus 3 perpendicular by hypotenuse the whole square plus 2 so 4 of base is 4 and hypotenuse is 5 minus 3 of 3 by 5 the whole square plus 2 so 4 into 16 by 25 minus 3 into 9 by 25 plus 2 which is 64 by 25 minus 27 by 25 plus 2 finding the LCM you get 64 minus 27 plus 50 which is equal to 87 by 25